Seawolf season is coming up and the players know they have a place to play, but will they have a place to stay? Well, some COVID restrictions making it a little harder to find those living accommodations. Chelsea Swift joins us now live from UPMC Park with more on the team's housing status. Chelsea. Hi, Jill. While some members of the community are excited about the Seawolves team staying in Erie, it's a difficult time to find housing. Seawolves are here to stay in Erie, but where they'll stay is still up in the air. Roughly 30 players are seeking accommodations for the 2021 season. They come in and they get here a couple days before the season starts and they have really a three day window to get an apartment, get their affairs in order, and then we hit the road uh, to go play ball games. So it's a, it's a tight time frame. Gania says the players are looking to find housing, to sign short term leases to last the season starting on May 1st, ending on September 30th, located within 20 minutes of downtown Erie. Can't have a player come into town and living with, uh, with a family that they're not in their normal household with. Uh, so, uh, so that's created another level of challenges because of the of the pandemic. One realtor says currently there are some uncertainties in the Erie housing market, raising the question, where will Seawolves players stay? Some people don't want to do something short because they don't think it's beneficial for, to them. But hey, the Seawolves are coming back and that's a positive. So if anybody can help out, um, we'd love to help you, you know, call the office and, and help us out any way you can. If you know of any available properties in the downtown area, contact the ballpark. You can find a link to the phone number on our website, yourerie.com. We'll send it back to you in the studio. Nothing easy this year, though, Chelsea. Thank you so much for that live report.